everyone, welcome to this episode of How to Write Great Lyrics with me, Jamie West. Today I want to talk about an artist who I first saw performing at the Royal Albert Hall, supporting Mark Knopfler. And she sung this song, and it wowed me right from the off. But it wasn't until I got home and listened to the CD over and over again that I realised how great the lyrics were, how beautifully moving they are. And the song is Life Is Long, the artist is Ruth Moody. The first thing to say about this song is that the title Life Is Long is a reversal. It's a reversal on the phrase Life Is Short. And what's clever is that it's a, it's a simple technique, but it has far-reaching consequences for your songwriting and for lyrics, and the way it works on our brains is incredible. Reversals give us new poetic truths and realizations. This song is set, uh, it's a story song, as you'll see, and the phrase life is long gathers meaning as the song goes along. It's not just sort of a surface level like, oh, there's a little reversal. It goes really deep and it's very powerful. The song starts like this. I walk along this lonely strand at the ebbing of the tide. I have seen this place before. You were walking by my side. So right away we have an I narrator and a you, and a you who is no longer there for some reason. And we've got a place, a lonely strand, and an emotion, loneliness with it. The ebbing of the tide, the tide's going out, this is always symbolic, we'll see why in a moment. It was on this day, one year ago, that we came out to Geordie Bay, long before you closed your eyes and your body slipped away. So now we know that the you of this story, the reason they're not there, is because they've slipped away, they've died. And it was on this day, it's an anniversary of, of some kind when they were there. And anniversaries are very powerful in storytelling. Think of birthdays or Christmas or Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. They're charged days. They're charged with the meaning of all the previous times you had that day, or just even if it's just an anniversary of a one-time thing, it's got it's got real power to it in in our lives as well as in songs. Then it goes, life was long, love. Life was long. And just to point out the the L's there, life was long, love. Life was long lovely alliteration. And another technique, uh, uh, apart from the reversal of Life is Long that Ruth uh, Moody's using, is um, to say something, then put something in the middle, then say the thing again. Life was long, love, life was long. Uh, another example of this same technique is to be or not to be. Uh, another uh, example is the name's Bond, James Bond. Right, So you can use the, the same rhetorical techniques in all different kinds of ways. And just to point out, life was long. It's not life is long yet, as in the title, life was long. And it says, we had time, love, we had time. For life was long, love, life was long. Now we're starting to get a sense of what this means now. Life was long. Life felt long. When we were together, we had all this time, we had all this stretched out in front of us. And yet, for all of it saying life is long, we are getting a sense that life is short. It's about, that. this is a song about, about death and grief, about a relationship that someone's missing. The next verse goes, Now a year has passed and things have changed. Your spirit's returned from whence it came. Still the ocean sounds the same, and the trees whisper your name. And this idea that your spirit's returned from whence it came is this idea that life, in some sense, continues and carries on. We are, it, it's, it's an idea that uh, our bodies are inhabited by a, a spirit. We live, then we die, and the spirit leaves our bodies and goes back maybe to the to the, to the trees, the ocean, or um, wherever the spirit came from, that's where it goes back to. And that line, still the ocean, sounds the same. 
that's you know it could mean it could mean a few different things but the idea that you go to a place and everything is the same but the other person isn't there it can be both comforting and also um disconcerting i think with the trees whispering your name i think it might be more comforting here but the funny thing is when you have a good lyric it can mean different things when you sing it at different times and that keeps it interesting for the singer as well it carries on and the trees whisper your name and they whisper words you once said to me we have time love for life is long so now i walk this path of memories reach for your spirit and join you in song and that last line is so beautiful and i think one of the reasons it's so emotionally affecting is that um when people reunite it's very moving to us when people have been separated reunite um think of when people meet at airports um or any time i once saw a a a play um pericles i saw a version of that and i don't remember very much about the play but i remember when the father and daughter reunite because you know i was crying at that moment and this also very a uh, very moving and even more so because they are joined not in life but they one of them is alive and one of them is just their spirit now but they're still together and that helps make it you know powerful and moving then it goes to the chorus life is long love life is long and that's when it goes it's life is long and the tense shift little words just change the meaning and uh it makes it it just makes it more present now the present tense literally makes it more present it's not um we have time love we have time it can it can mean that she's that the singer is almost back there now or it can also mean this was an everlasting moment that they had between them and it always exists it can mean all kinds of things then it goes had you known when you spoke these words that your time had come and you'd soon be gone you may never have spoken so still i hear your voice singing life is long love life is long and so we're getting more information here about it was maybe unexpected it was a quick thing that happened and the singer is now questioning going well you know <laughs> you said this you said this you know maybe you wouldn't have said it had you known what was coming and yet this the the phrase that the person said speaks to uh, uh the singer it's it speaks of that person's character life is long we have time it strikes me as we have time enjoy life we have time as well as saying life is short so you know we don't have much time and that is the beauty of a reversal is it can mean one thing and the opposite of that thing all at the same time anyway as you can tell i love this song um so for the techniques that you might want to borrow from here you can take a well known phrase turn it on its head um you can do this a uh, trick of saying something putting something in the middle then saying it again you know these techniques work uh, i promise you they work <laughs> and uh you can have a you who maybe is no longer around for whatever reason but um anyway that's my take on the song have a listen to it if you haven't heard it already it's very beautiful thanks so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe that is a rule of 3 just another bonus songwriting tip for you there Um and I look forward to seeing you next time.